Hi, my name is Marco Velenius. I come from Finland, but I've been living here in Dubai. And I want to introduce myself because I'm creating uh, this channel for you to think about the future in a different way. Because I've been working with the future studies, future stuff for the last 25 to 30 years. And I feel that it's time to talk about what have I found, not in terms of only of what type of the new technology is here, but how do we think about the future? What is our future? What are the different futures that we need to be uh, working on? So I'm going to try to reach you out through different channels to make future interesting and relevant to you because I don't want just you to listen to me. I really want you to uh, learn from my learning and then give that learning back to me because I'm also very interested to have an interaction with you. Future is of course a fascinating stuff, but future happens in a very different way in different parts of the world. So here in Dubai, we have a very different future to when I look at the Finland, when I look at the, let's say, Florida, I look at the Italy, I look at the South Africa. So, so we have a very different type of the futures coming up. And I'm gonna be tracking what type of the futures I'm gonna see uh, and deliver those type of the futures into you to make you to realize what type of the future options, what type of the challenges, what type of the implications and learnings we have about the future. Because what's the most important about this future stuff is not so much to know exactly what's going to happen in the future, because actually nobody knows, not me, not anybody else, but to be inspired by that and to understand that future is about possibilities much more than the constraints. And the way how we can get better connected to future is to be more at ease with that. Now we try to push our things, we now to push our goals and ambitions and the targets and so forth and so forth. But the most important thing is that you let your mind go free you build your ambitions, yes, and you head towards that future, even if it's a very winding road in the end, as it always is. Because future doesn't come as a continuum, it goes as a zigzag. Disrupted events such as pandemic comes, and now this uh, Russian war, uh, and so forth. So a lot of stuff is coming, but you need to remember that the most important thing about the future is that you feel and you are connected into the future in a way that makes you feel that you are a part of a future. Because if you get hopeless or depressive about the future, that's only because you don't see yourself to be a part of that type of the future which is good for you. And that happens to us for many, you know, for many reasons. The point, however, is that even if we are living to hard times, we need to use our human capacities to think, okay, even if it's now hard time, I'm going to get out of this hardship. I'm going to overcome it. Something better is going to come my way. And because we're living in a quantum reality, everything that we think, all our ideas, changes the reality because in reality there is not only a matter there is not only energy but there is this quantum reality which is formulating and reformulating and reorganizing itself in a countless ways that is something that we need to be thinking of if we can with our intentions to have a, such a big impact on the future, then it's time to get up your sleeves, even if I don't have any sleeves, it's time to roll up your sleeves and think about how you can 
better device and understand where your future is. In this world, which is very complex, a lot of things happening, but there is always this realm for you. Always this realm to influence, to have your mark in the, fu in the future and in the now. So that I will want to you to consider when you hopefully start to follow my channel and, and learning what I have learned in the last 30 years being a traveling futurist. So see you in my channel. Bye bye.